guys welcome back to a new video let me see if my okay my volume's up um so today i'm going to flip through um dk workbook grade k or kindergarten um this is going to be a small little series i'm going to review or flip through um these three books but today i'm just going to focus on the level k um so I got these from my library. These are not books that I have bought. Um, I like to look in my library and see if they have workbooks that I may be interested in and then I just photocopy them and use them with the kids or with other kids that I homeschool. So that's why it says no writing in the book because this belongs to our library. So um, this is the DK Workbook K Math. Uh, it meets Common Core State Standard, which you know some people like, some people don't. I don't mind it. Um, makes learning easy and fun, build and boost key skills, learn and explore. And they have an abacus here, which we have, I think, the same abacus. Um, 200 gold reward stars. In the back, it just explains what each of the levels do. Um, pack with fun exercises and di diagrams. These workbooks can help children math skills, can help keep ma children's math skills in top shape. Through fact boxes, exercises, and problem solving activities, children build up their confidence, reinforces, reinforce their understanding, and reach their full potential in school. I don't have the pre-K level. I don't know if they have the pre-K. If they do, let me know in the comments down below if you want to flip, flip through of the pre-K. Um, I first have to see if they actually do have it. Um, here is the level K one. It has this little arrow here to let you know which one you are using. Um, so the level K provides further practice in preparing children for formal math studies. Topics include counting to 20, first step in addition and subtraction, naming 2D, 2D shapes, and working with money and telling time. Just a heads up, I have looked through this workbook, and this, I don't believe, is a level K workbook. There's a lot more advanced stuff here. Um, sorry about my nails. My nails are really bad. <laughs> There's a lot of advan advanced stuff, ad advanced stuff here, and I'm not sure if like every kindergartner is supposed to know this. Personally, Monique and David did know everything that was here, but I don't know if every kindergartner should know everything that's here because, in my personal opinion, public schools did not even get close. They didn't even learn time in public school or money, so I don't know why they will say this is a kindergarten one. I'm pretty sure like this is more kindergarten first second third fourth hopefully that makes sense but you can just pause the video and let me know so it's in black and white there's a little bit of color in the top and yeah that's pretty much it let's open this book up and show you guys what this book covers so here's the first page this is the content um, and it just tells you guys the pages what it goes over with and then this where you put the stars so I'll just let you guys read that. There you go. It does have an answer section for parents and a certificate. So here's the first page. So count one to five. Um, so the goal is to practice counting from one to five and they have it in this little number line. And this just exercises. So the child will be looking for how many stars are in each row and writing the missing numbers so uh, there is a lot of things here that a child will learn in kindergarten but as you go more and more into the book it gets a little bit more difficult in my opinion when it comes to what public schools do in kindergarten but again a lot of public school teachers don't use this book this is mostly a homeschool book and if you know anything about homeschooling kids homeschool kids they're a lot more advanced in public school so maybe that's why really really simple it doesn't spend too much time on certain things it goes really quickly so I would recommend using this as a workbook to um, either review after a lesson or maybe an end of the year workbook where your child you would give this to your child and they would work on it to see if they mastered everything that a first grader is supposed to know in my opinion um, that's what I recommend using it really really nice in my opinion I think this workbook um, it is you know all over the place it's not I don't consider it spiral or mastery I consider it what public schools do <laughs> um, you know 
they're mixed all around. They do like two or three pages of this book. This reminds me a little bit of like Flash Kids Math Skills. I use Flash Kids Math Skills Grade 1 for the twins for summer. And it kind of reminds me of that. Just a lot more black and white and not colorful. You know, introduces addition and subtraction slowly. And then it goes straight into like big addition and subtraction at the end. I want to show you guys a full page. You know, it's pretty simple. It does start off simple, which a lot of kids need. This is more of like a review of kindergarten than teach your child everything in kindergarten. Okay, here we go into time. So it explains how time works a little bit. So I'm just gonna put it closer for so you can see it. Then it goes into money, to learn the concept of money to buy items. And again, a kindergarten student at the end of it is not going to know any of this. I have sent Monique and David to public school. They didn't learn about money at all. So this will tell you that this is too advanced for kids, um, for kindergarten kids in my opinion. Even kids who are homeschooled in my opinion, I think this is too advanced for them. I have seen so many YouTube videos of parents showing their kindergarten curriculum and this doesn't even go close to it. Um, you would need to get curriculum like maybe a Becca or Horizon or um, Singapore. Saxon, but a lot of homeschoolers don't use those curriculums for their kindergarten students because they're too advanced. Um, so this is sort of similar. That's why I say it's more of a first grade level. Here's the certificate to congratulate your student. Like I said, I'm going to be making a photocopy of this workbook. This is pretty small. It's only 47 pages. I'm going to be making a photocopy of this workbook and using it as either a beginning of first grade review for advanced kids or um, a kind of like end of the year. Wait, no. Let me repeat that. I will be use. I will, I can use this as a kind of review for advanced kindergartners or um, introduction to first to like first graders because this is too advanced for a lot of them. This is kind of like a review for first graders or even advanced kindergartners. That's what I mean. Um, here's the answer sheet if, you know, maybe you don't know the answers. But it's pretty simple in my opinion. Black and white, really nice. It explains also little activities that you can do with your child. So I'll just read to you one of them. And if the fan is too loud, the air conditioner, I do apologize. So here's, let children count as they place a finger on each star. Then ask them to write the number under or on each star as they count, which will help and reinforce their counting skills. So this is kind of like teaching the, the, the teacher, telling the teacher what to do for each like page. So this is great. I love that about this. I actually did not read it. But yep, they do that with every single page. And that is pretty much it. That is the DK workbook kindergarten math um, if you guys have any questions or maybe I went too fast for this workbook let me know in the comments down below um, I think this workbook is pretty nice it's not that thick as you saw um, it's really nice I think this like I said is a little bit more advanced kindergarten or re beginning first grade middle not be uh, no not middle first grade but more like beginning first grade um, so be careful that's why I do these flip through be careful for buying these books and then for your kindergartner and then like getting it and then you're thinking like wait but this is kindergarten and it's more like a first grade level so that's why I make these videos to really show you guys what the workbook looks like inside um, and that's it if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have any questions about this book let me know in the comments down below and I will answer it as soon as possible and I'll see you guys in the next video bye